And then now, supposedly, I don't know about you, if you guys seen this in the news, supposedly there's an abundance of dog meat being sold on Oahu. No. 3,000 missing dogs gone last year. When was the last time you went to Maile and saw patele aku dog meat? <laughs> But you know what's insulting, right? <laughs> if you guys saw the news? <laughs> Never have one Filipino on the newscast. <laughs> and out of different ethnic race holding one black dog. And I'm going, oh, look at that. See, this is where you take advantage of the whole being a victim. Have one of my Filipino uncles just <laughs> Snap on TV for like racial discrimination. <laughs> Go on TV. Ever since you guys, <laughs> you know that news report about the missing dogs. <laughs> oh, my neighbors now they lock the dog on the chain. <laughs> you know, before I come home, the dogs are all, all over the place. Now inside the kennel. <laughs> I go to the fat store. <laughs> Pet, pet, pet okay. store. <laughs> I, go, I go to the fat store and buy a fluffy, fluffy for my nephew. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I buy a fluffy for my nephew. The lady look at me, huh, what you buying the fluffy for? What you gonna do with me? And then I go to work, lunchtime. I have my Tupperware. <laughs> I open my Tupperware. But what is that dog? It's the dog you eat me. <laughs> That's fish. <laughs> you know what I like doing? You know, you know what, honestly, you know why I love doing comedy? The first three bits was like stuff that I just made up a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. And you guys never even know. <laughs> Yeah, you see, because if I bombed and a joke sucked, the last three jokes, you guys would have gone, oh, that's okay, he's a comic, he can recover. <laughs> see, I can do that. I'm the, my job allows me to do that. Right? I can make a mistake and it'll be okay. Doctors cannot do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors cannot do that. You can imagine, you wake up from surgery, your testicles there by your elbow. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. I was working on something new. I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I love my job. This is the best job in the world. It allows me to just say, just talk. I tell you, I've been very grateful and very unfortunate to have done some comedy on the mainland. Yeah. Local brother from Kali made the big move to Wai'anae. <laughs> doing comedy in like Alaska, the Midwest, Midwest, Guam. Anybody been to Alaska? Yeah, beautiful place, yeah? During the spring, it's like all day, two hour nights. <laughs> You're not gonna find about two addicts in Alaska, boy. <laughs> only two hours, only two hours, only two hours. <laughs> touristy thing because I'm a tourist I like go you know I want to know what Alaska is all about I did the the Kenai for hordes I cannot say it it's spelled F-J-O-R-D-S oh. this is where they get the salmon and the glaciers right hundred twenty five dollars to go see wildlife what? Oh, what up? well they don't tell you you might not see wildlife <laughs> You know, hundred. If I knew, oh, that would be hard for me to spend. Cause you know, local brothers, you gotta really convince us. Twenty-two dollars was hard, eh? <laughs> hundred twenty-five dollars, man. I'm like, I'm on like two hours into the whole tour. I'm like, 
Where's all the animals on the brochure? <laughs> Where's the killer whales? Where's the seals? Where, where, where? I'm pissed now. I'm mad. Because I could have seen all that at Sea Life Park, right? <laughs> 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 okay, okay, they had eagles, and I honestly, I believe was prop, was like just in case you don't see them in your life, because they're all the same, all just on the, uh, fly, do something, fly! But I went, I spent the money because I want to experience. That's what we do. We like experience. Now I understand why tourists come to Hawaii, spend all of the, you know, they, 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 they save up all of their life savings to come to Hawaii to watch water shoot out the rocks. Go by the blow, honey. Go by the blow. Hole. That's water shoot out the rocks, ladies and gentlemen. This is. This. <laughs> <laughs> Water shooting up the rocks. So this day. <laughs> but they want to experience the whole thing, and I'm like, okay, cool, all right. Maybe I only saw one. one. Well, I'll see you on. Ah! <laughs> but amazing how people like they they jump on that kind of stuff. So what I gonna do? I gonna I gonna start my new business. I want to show tourists from the mainland what Hawaii is really about. Oh. I'm going to make my own wildlife tour. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to take the boat off of Honakai Hale. <laughs> and only going to cost like 20 bucks, maybe 22. <laughs> 25, you know, for the good seats over here. <laughs> You know, take them off Honakai Hale, go by Makaha. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your cameras. Look at that beautiful Hawaiian man. Really, do you see 100% Hawaiians walking around at the beach? Come on, take your cameras out. Take your cameras out. Okay, now we're going to Maile. Oh, oh, is that somebody stealing a car? <laughs> his bow. Look at the way he's using that screwdriver. Unbelievable, boy. Real Hawaii. I think it's stereotype, okay? No matter what anybody say, we get stereotyped. I felt like I was stereotyped from the beginning. Right? Supposedly, I grew up in the three versus places. Versus. It's for the people in the mainland. New word, new word. Versus. <laughs> Kalihi, why and I? And now I live in beautiful, hot Ever Beach. Yeah. <laughs> and I felt like I was stereotyped all my life. I felt like every time somebody asks me where I'm from, I gotta defend myself. <laughs> where you from? Why not? Why? Why? Where you from? Why? Why? Hey, they don't do that to Lanai, my partner. They go, Lanai, where you from? Oh, I peel. Oh, what? Your kids play soccer. <laughs> 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 and we like stereotyping people. You know who got the worst butt? The guy last year at the Chicago Cubs game. You remember this one guy that caught the ball oh, and blew it for Chicago? Everybody was mad at this guy. Yeah. He was like the biggest fan. But we all went typecast him. You know why? Because he's the guy we all can beat up. <laughs> he's the guy in school that had the glasses pinned in his pocket. Hi, hey, hi, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> And he think he can blow it for Chicago, right? The ball came. Uh, yep. And everybody's like, oh, no, no, no. everybody wanted to beat him up because <laughs> the ball came his way. Shoot, he's the guy. Yeah, he's the That's guy we news. can beat up. He's the guy when you're driving in your car, cut in front of you, you look at him. Ah, drive good! <laughs> <laughs> Why, you don't know how to drive? <laughs> but if it was somebody big like this Samoan guy right here, <laughs> We stick your finger under the dashboard, right? <laughs> I can lick you, man. I can kick you. I can lick him. I know, honey. I know. Okay. <laughs> we love stereotyping people, right? Shoot. If some big guy like Navy two yasa sopo or a rock uh, cut the bar at the Chicago Cubs game, nobody would have said nothing. Can you imagine if a Samoan guy caught the ball 
Lo que pare Why why you, you like tap pop? You like tap? Stop! 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 Stop!